All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. If you need a roof, make sure you call Ireland Contracting. They're the best in the business. 1-800-NEW-ROOF. Give us a call right now on the Borders and Borders Hotline. 412-575-2600. Going right back out to the phone lines. We're going to have Bill in Castle Shannon. What's up, Bill? Hey, how you doing, guy? Good. Thanks for calling. Yeah, tell Gene I said hello. Hey, how He's are right you? next to me. You can tell him. Hey, uh, the last time the Steelers beat the Rams was in 1979, and the last Super Bowl with Bradshaw won. Well, they're not playing the Rams. They're not playing the yeah. Huh? Well, I'm just saying the last time they beat him was 1979. What? Who? When the Rams played the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Why, why are we playing? The, what, what does the Rams have to do with the Oakland Raiders? Oh, nothing with the other way, but you were discussing when was the last time the Steelers beat the Rams. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, we didn't say that. I, I don't even think we brought up the Rams. All right, Sam out in New Bethlehem. How you doing, Sam? Good. Hey, Richie and Gene, Sam Nover was the ultimate professional. Had mm -hmm. a lot of respect for the guy. Mm -hmm. Yep, back I in totally the 90s, agree. Back in the 1970s, the Steelers went out to play the Raiders in a playoff game. Harris and Blyer were both hurt. Harrison was their running back. They got manhandled 24-7. to mm -hmm. Edmonds, uh, Ridley, and Samuels have a total of 31 carries. I look for the Steelers to go 1-3. and three. Uh, They have to make the long trip to Oakland. I'll be surprised if they win out there. Your thoughts on that? Thanks, Thanks a lot, lot Sam. Guys. You guys know, are doing a great job. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Um, you know, the Steelers have changed their travel arrangements for this game. They're leaving a little bit earlier. Uh, maybe because they think they need to get to Oakland and acclimate themselves to the time change. Um, they're leaving in the morning instead of in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that'll change anything, but I think they're taking this game seriously. I don't, I don't, I, I, in, that, in that locker room today, all the guys are talking about how they're not looking past this team. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers beat the Raiders under any circumstances in any city in America. I mean, the, the, the Raiders are terrible. Yeah. Uh, but uh, can they lose it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what... Uh, our callers want out of this. Can they win? Yes. Can they lose? Yes. We'll have to see. Let's wait and see. Yeah, I mean, I personally think they're going to go two and two. Uh, I, I think they have a better chance of going three and one than one and three. I, I think that, 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 that swing game for me is the, is the New England game. I think they need to win that game, um, but if they lose that game, I still think that they could win this game, win the Bengals game, and I would see the, the Ravens are going to lose two games. They're playing Kansas City this week, so um, they, have another, they have another tough game. Yeah, they so. have another tough game. I, I, Chargers, I, looked at their, I think. Yeah, that's right. So, that's, um, so I, you know, I think that they might be – the, the Chargers are fighting for a wild card spot. They have potential to have an outside shot at the division too. So um, I think both teams go 2-2 two and two down the stretch, and I think you see the Steelers win the division by default. All right, we've got to take a break. Back to wrap things up coming up next. Stay right there.